This is a 1954 Hudson Hornet two-door sedan and it has twin H power so this was a fast runner back in the day held its own on the racetrack really before the overhead valve V8s uh, really became plentiful the 308 cubic inch uh, six-cylinder which is pretty big and with the twin H power it was 170 horsepower so the twin H power essentially was uh, was two carburet two carburetors as you can see them right there notice this car has beautiful wire wheels and a very nice two-tone uh, combination here with the red and black plenty of chrome now this is the last year for this body design. Very nice upholstery. Very luxurious. Notice how that center part comes down as a big uh, armrest. If you didn't have three passengers back there, you could, uh, with two passengers, you had a one big armrest there. <clears throat> Notice the instrument cluster is very nice here. The central speedometer and the gauges clock is part of that this car has hydromatic as you can see they purchased that from General Motors <clears throat> yes Hudson uh, was famous at this point for its uh, very low slung cars you had to step down into the car which was uh, not typical of the time notice the rocket ship there and the backup lamps down below yeah the other cars had a sill that was even with the uh, floor of the car but this one you actually had to step down into which made for a uh, very good handling lower center of gravity and that's why these cars had such a great reputation that uh, engine and the low center of gravity made it uh, a stock car winner really there's the heater down below in the central position And another look under the hood. There you see the two carburetors. And this is a flathead six. And Hudson had the reputation of building things better than they really had to be. So it was very durable. Very nice car. I'm glad it's been preserved. 